What does a man have to do to get a break around here? I am Chris Jericho. I am WWE Championship material, and the WWE Universe knows it. I shouldn't be wasting my time slumming it up with bottom feeders like this good-for-nothing monobrow joke. And you, Michael Cole, I heard what you said at the start of the show. If you don't think I have what it takes anymore, then get in the ring, and I'll show you why I'm still the best in the world at what I do. Hey, I'm no WWE superstar. I'm a broadcaster. Then come in this ring and interview me. Come on, do your job. Okay, Mr. Jericho, but, but how do you feel after beating Santino one day after losing? Who do you think you are asking me about that bogus ruling last night? I should. broadcast partner you're gonna be okay michael yeah yeah I, I think so if jericho wanted a champion's attention he certainly got one at royal rumble as they often are i had the odds against me my career my livelihood was on the line but once again Chris Jericho overcame the obstacles and proved once and for all why I am the best in the world at what I do. And I'm wearing gold to prove it. What can I say? I'm a title belt magnet. And I'm prepared to attract yet another championship. Triple H, I'm coming for you. And when... Get lost. I'll give you an autograph later. Triple H. The game. I'm completely focused on you. Huh? You have bigger worries than Triple H. A week ago, you robbed me of becoming WWE Champion. Tonight, I get my revenge when I snap you in half. This isn't about championships. It's about my vengeance. Well, it's... <coughs> it's your funeral, Big Show. What do you think you're doing, Jericho? That's my championship, Jericho. Jericho, the time for games is over. You stole my WWE Championship. You didn't cheat to win it or talk me into some impossible stipulation. You just went and grabbed it and ran away. What a cowardly act. Even for you. There are two ways we can do this, Jericho. Either you come out here on your knees and put the title at my feet, or 
I'll get it back myself, and I'll make a statement in the process. You wanted my attention? Well, now you have my attention. You're gonna live to regret it. I want it back, Jericho. Where is it? That's my belt. I deserve it. Sweet ship music to Jericho! championship back from Jericho yet, but he did get a bit of vengeance. Do you think in Chris's mind he really believes it's his title? What Jericho thinks is immaterial, King. The cerebral assassin will not rest until the WWE championship title is back in his grasp. Mr. McMahon, I... Just cut to the chase, Chris. Why did you do it? Do do what, Mr. McMahon? Don't play dumb with me. You stole the WWE Championship. Behind the champion's back, during a live televised match. Quite honestly, Mr. McMahon, I took the WWE Championship because, well, I think I deserve it. Triple H wouldn't give me a title shot. He's scared of me. What kind of champion is that? The kind we recognize as WWE Champion. Unlike you, who acted like a common thief. Now, if you don't mind, give me the championship right now, otherwise you're going to be fine. Listen, sir, I know you're a savvy businessman. I'm a valuable talent, but I see your position here. I will gladly return the championship to you. I just ask for the match I deserve at Elimination Chamber. How big would that be? Pay-per-view numbers would go through the roof. Okay, Jericho. I'll go along with this, for now. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. And you're welcome to a match tonight. Something to get you in the championship mood. Something, as you say, to make ratings go through the roof. You're excused. Chris Jericho just got himself intentionally disqualified. I guess we know what sort of champion Jericho's gonna be now, Cole. A cheater! Jericho didn't even try. He took the easy way out and retains the WWE Championship on a technicality. What a coward. It's all about the game. And how you play it. It's all about control. Why don't you pathetic parasites do what you've done all your lives? Sit back, shut your mouth, and do exactly as you're told. All is right with the world, and yet you hypocrites still complain. I am once again WWE Champion, and I've even been gracious enough to bring back the most popular program in the history of Monday Night Television, the highlight reel. Unfortunately, since this decision was spontaneous, I wasn't able to secure a guest worthy of the honor. Instead, Try not to be too disappointed as I welcome my guests for tonight, Triple H. Welcome to the highlight reel. And listen to those parasites cheer you, Hunter. 
It's because as a parasite yourself, they identify with you. Now I wanted to get your thoughts, Hunter, on passing the torch. You must feel proud to know the title is in the possession of someone so much more talented and deserving than yourself. Later tonight, in this ring, I'll show you what you can do with your torch. I don't have any idea what you're... Chris Jericho just did. We sure hope Triple H will be okay. Medical staff is tending to Triple H. I guess it goes without saying that there'll be no rematch tonight. Our current champion, Chris Jericho, has done some despicable things since capturing the title. Not the least of which being almost blinding Triple H. Last week I announced those two will meet in six days at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. I've decided to put the two of them into a match where we can be sure to have a decisive winner and a definitive WWE Champion. That match will be Hell in the set. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears Triple H has returned and he's brawling backstage with his WrestleMania opponent. It's a war back there! You shouldn't have come back, Triple H. Jericho. Look, Hunter, I know you're mad about what happened. to you at Wrestlemania. Chris! Chris, can you hear me? Are you okay? Whether you thought Jericho deserved to be champion before or not, no one can argue that he is now truly the WWE Champion. You don't need to like Chris Jericho, but you do have to respect him. And speaking of respect... With everything that has transpired between them, why is Big Show celebrating with Jericho? Triple H, what's going on? It was a setup. What a thunderous move to the WWE Champion. He may deserve the title, 
But he also had that coming to him, King. Chris Jericho won the battle, but I think his war might have a far different result. It's a dream come true being the ECW champion. But I have to admit, I'm getting kind of bored. I'm wondering if there's anyone in the locker room who will step up and give me a challenge. My hearing must be off, Sunshine. Did I just hear you say that you're lacking challenges? You must have been knocked in the head one too many times if you've forgotten about me. No, Regal. I haven't forgotten about you. Though my usual policy is to forget about anyone I've beaten more than a dozen times. Clever. Very clever. Care to back up those confident words? Tonight, I'll give you the thrashing you so desperately deserve. Hey, sounds like a main event to me. A very one-sided, everyone knows I'm gonna win main event, but a main event nonetheless. Welcome to my peep show. Well, I call it mine, but apparently, I'm not allowed to choose my own guests. So without further ado, I just get the hell in the ring already, whoever you are. Surprised to see me, player? Well, I'm surprised at how complacent you've become in ECW. I mean, you know, you look downright bored, Christian. My dominance in ECW notwithstanding. What are you doing here, Teddy? You're not here to evaluate my job performance. I'll cut right to it then. You've been traded, player. Now, after the Royal Rumble, your peeps and I will be watching you perform on my show. Welcome to SmackDown. Christian, I don't think you know what you're getting yourself into. ECW is no SmackDown, and you're no Dolph Ziggler. Well, I can think of a couple ways I would have preferred to close the ECW chapter of my career. But even still, I'm very proud of what I've been able to accomplish in the land of extreme. I want to thank ECW's general manager, as well as the superstars of ECW, even if some of them got on my nerves sometimes. Most of all, I couldn't have done it without my peeps. I expect big things on SmackDown, and I expect you all to join me every Friday night. I vow to make that show the new and improved peep show, and my first order of business will be paying back that goof, Dolph Ziggler. Ladies and gentlemen, former ECW champion, future SmackDown superstar, Christian. This signifies a new era, both for Christian and ECW. 
We'd like to thank Christian for all his great work here at ECW and wish him continued success on SmackDown. Make sure you tune in Friday night to see what awaits Captain Charisma. Dude, we totally fooled the player into thinking we weren't going to reunite. I know, we totally... Wait a minute. Player? What player? You see that weirdo staring at us through the TV? No, but I'll take your word for it. Let's go through the checklist. Big sunglasses? Check. Polished white teeth for the benefit of those with flash photography? Check. Totally lame opponents that are gonna get their butts kicked tonight? The dead guy and his burnt red brother? Check. I think that does it. Not just yet. I added something to the checklist. Kazoos! Dude, how could we have forgotten the zoo? Kazoos rule! I know! Now hit it! Undertaker's dead. He is really, really dead. Bong, bong. His partner is red. Someone needs to get in here and stop this. I don't know if anyone is that brave. Jericho fell all the way to the floor. This bad luck hasn't ended yet. Oh my goodness, that may have taken out both men. Meanwhile, Big Show and Edge are still battling. Does Edge think he can get Big Show up? This doesn't look good. Christian makes the save. Now Edge has a chair. Concerto by the Originators. Edge and Christian are standing tall on SmackDown. Edge got the best of Chris Jericho tonight. Will the World Heavyweight Champion reign supreme at Elimination Chamber? Before I defend my World Heavyweight Championship, Christian and I want to give the people of St. Paul something special. Dude. We're in St. Louis. Whatever. So anyway... Sorry. Old phone. Hello? Oh, Grandma Edna. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, did you see? I just want... Yeah. He's here. Hang on. Hey, it's Grandma Edna. Gram Jam. How's it going? Uh-huh. Yeah? You got it. Love you. She wants us to do a five-second pose. So, for the benefit of those with flash photography... Hey, Edge. Dude, remember these? We were completely styling back in the day. I was thinking we could... I'm cashing in my Money in the Bank title shot tonight. Against you. I hope you understand. Another big win for Christian. The wave of momentum he's riding is incredible. We're taking nothing away from our truth. Christian has a much bigger test on Sunday. You put a knife in my back. I thought it'd only be fitting that you get a chair to yours. Get used to the feeling of cold steel on your skin because it's gonna be a tables, ladders, and chairs match at WrestleMania. TLC for the World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday at WrestleMania. These two have defined the TLC match 
but I never imagined they'd be competing in one against each other. Just when you thought WrestleMania couldn't get any hotter, Edge lays this bombshell on us. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, my! Christian did it! Captain Charisma is the world's heavyweight champion. What an epic TLC match! You'd hate to have either of these guys lose a match like this. It looks to me like Edge might be a sore loser. I figured this occasion calls for a new five-second pose. Good call. You know, I wonder if that player dork thought you were gonna hit me. As if. So, for the benefit of those with flash photography... We call this one Kings at the Throne of Awesomeness. stole the show at WrestleMania. Yeah, we reek of main eventosity. These two battle to the end, but it's good to see these two put their issues behind them. What a way to end the road to WrestleMania. Christian is World Heavyweight Champion. Good night, everybody. Go run home crying to your first-generation superstar daddies. This isn't over, Cena. You're never going to make it to the Royal Rumble. Well... You better come with more than that next time, pal. Randy didn't wait long before he started lobbing grenades, did he? And like usual, his plan didn't work out as he hoped. But he'll try again. And we'll beat him back again. Because you're going to stomp Orton at the Royal Rumble. If that means I gotta be your guardian angel until the Rumble, well, I can handle that. Stephanie, you need to control those two criminals. Oh, Randy. What are you talking about? Cena and MVP. They're running around, threatening me, trying to ambush me. They probably have traps set everywhere. You're a big boy. What do you want me to do about it? This is an unsafe work environment. I'm WWE Champion. There are threats against my life. I need round-the-clock security. As a businesswoman, you can't leave your biggest investment unprotected. Can you? I can, and I will. So far, Cena has done nothing to warrant my intervention. And until he does, you're facing him at the Royal Rumble. Now, if that's all... Fine. You obviously have some bias preventing you from acting sensibly. I'll go above your head on this one if I have to, Stephanie. Kingston has the champion hurt. He may have come in as a last-minute replacement, but he could leave a champion. Oh, no. Cody Rhodes has sent Kofi crashing to the arena floor. It's a dirty tactic, but this is a no-disqualification match. That's just uncalled for. How can Kofi survive against this onslaught? That fight for Randy Orton has all the angles covered. your winner and still WWE Champion Randy Orton. This is a disgrace. Kofi and Orton really the man. Again, I'm not advocating his actions, but you have to expect those kind of things when you face Randy Orton. But how long will he have to endure this tyrannical reign as WWE Champion King? At least we have something else to look forward to. The Royal Rumble match is next. Security! Security! John Cena's gone insane! Stay out of this, guys. It's between me and him. You saw him? He attacked me. He's not supposed to be within 20 feet of me. Take him away. Take him to jail. What the hell was that? Big things popping. John Cena stopping, MVP. 
Don't forget, I have a restraining order against you, too. Just go back the way you came. This doesn't concern you, unless you want to serve more time behind bars. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can hold me. MVP can is in the ring, so that can only mean one thing. Big things popping, little things stopping. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the view because the VIP lounge is for people like me and all of you. I haven't always gotten along with authority, and joining me tonight is someone else who the man is trying to keep down. Please join me in welcoming John Cena! Thanks for having me, MVP. First time guest, long time viewer, love the show. And you're right, the man is trying to keep us down. Randy Orton is afraid either one of us is going to snatch up his WWE Championship. He's so afraid, he made himself general manager. He's so afraid, he started buying extra strength diapers. <laughs> Wait, he's so afraid. Okay, that's enough. I won't have my employees disrespecting me, especially when they're a bunch of hypocrites. You both view me as the bad guy here. But little do you know, you're each much bigger enemies to each other than I could ever be. I mean, Cena, how many times has MVP tried to use you as a stepping stone? tried to run you out of the WWE. Now wait a minute, Randy. I admit, I used to be pretty devious myself. But it was nothing compared to the level you've sunk to. And now you think Cena's your friend, MVP. Your partner. Well, he's not. But you don't have to take my word for it. MVP could more than compete with you, John. I bet he could even beat you. MVP doesn't have it in him to do that. Not anymore. Ouch, John. But regardless of your low opinion of MVP, I think he's a more worthy number one contender than you are. I ain't worried about him. I've beaten him more times than I can count. What did I tell you? Now hold on. Cena, you're gonna play me like that? I don't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to let you both know that you have matches at the Elimination Chamber. Against each other. In a last man standing match. You can settle your differences there. Don't do it, John. Now pin him. Here is your winner. And my opponent for WrestleMania. The psychopath, John Cena. I hate to say I told you so, MVP. I also hate to say this, but as Raw's GM, I am negating your Royal Rumble victory stipulation. If you want a title shot at WrestleMania, you'll have to do it for the World Heavyweight Championship. I can't believe Cena would do that. Maybe Randy Orton was right all along. And Orton stripping MVP of his WrestleMania title shot? Can he do that?
lot of stories are going around the WWE Universe. Stories about how John Cena is a maniac. Don't lock eyes with John Cena. Don't leave raw meat out near John Cena. I'm here to tell you, don't believe the hype. I want to give a shout out to Kofi Kingston, who was injured during our match last week. Well, that didn't happen because I went crazy. That's the risk we take when we get in this ring. And Kofi knew that risk. We all do. It's the price we pay to compete and entertain the greatest fans in the world. But all these people treat me like I'm dangerous. Like I'm out of control. I'm here to tell you that you're perfectly safe around me. That is, unless your name is Randy Orton. Randy, at WrestleMania, when I'm standing across the ring from you, you finally have to look me in the eyes. You're going to see dangerous. You're going to see crazy. And then, you're going to see a new WWE Champion. WWE Universe is buzzing. Everyone's talking about WrestleMania. John Cena versus Randy Orton. The Psychopath versus the Corrupt GM. But everybody forgot one little thing. Me. Montel Vontavious Port. I won the Royal Rumble match, which meant I could name my title shot at WrestleMania. Now, Randy Orton tried to use his GM powers to prevent that from happening, but I went to the one man above him, Mr. McMahon. I explained to the boss what happened, and he made an executive decision. So guess what? Orton, Cena, I'm coming, and neither one of you can stop me. In six days, I'm going to be the new WWE Champion. Because MVP is falling. Nobody can stop. Holy cow, Nobody Michael! Nobody the WrestleMania main event just goodness. became a triple I'm threat match. Cena did it against long odds and intense hardship. He is the new WWE champion. And he won it with pure grit and determination. Not the insanity Orton claimed he had. MVP wasn't able to get the win tonight, but he shows respect to his opponent. Stop it, both of you. You're making me sick. I'll be damned if the two of you leave that ring on your own two feet. Not while I'm GM. Cody, Kozlov, get in there. Oh, no you don't, Randy. I think we've all had enough of your antics, Randy. John earned the WWE Championship, and I'm going to earn some satisfaction, too. Under authorization of the WWE Board of Directors, you are hereby stripped of the position of General Manager effective immediately. I'm regaining the position, and believe me, you have a lot to answer for. John, I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration. Please. Carry on. Your time is 
What a finale to an unprecedented WrestleMania. John Cena has got back everything. Meanwhile, Randy Orton has lost everything. And based on what Stephanie said, I'm sure the bad news is just starting for him. The road to WrestleMania has come to an end, and John Cena stands triumphant. Thank you very much for joining us for this epic event. The Chip. We now have a camera in the garage area and... Oh no, Ray! He needs help! Ray! Ray, can you hear me? We need them to get that ambulance now! Medical personnel are on the scene, but... What... Oh, thanks, Ray. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't been here. Dang, the hurricane was her beaten to the punch. Congratulations, citizen, for putting out that fire. He beat me here and got the girl? What's up with that? What's up with that? Thanks, Ray. I'm ever glad you were here. My her sense was tingling, but I see you were in the right place at the right time, citizen. So let me get this straight. You save people. You put out fires. And you wear a mask? It sounds like someone's trying to put the hurricane out of a hurry job. What's up with that? Hey, I'm no superhero. I'm just an ordinary guy trying to help out. Hmm. I'll be keeping my her eye on you, Ray, if that is your real name. I'm glad you came by, Ray. Have a seat. I know you went through some trauma a while back, and I think your mind is still processing it. Meaning what? meaning you have some repressed memories. I want you to try this. Close your eyes and really think about what happened that day. Ray! Ray, can you hear me? We have to call the police and get him some help. But then I kicked him in the stomach and connected with a gut-wrench power bomb. <laughs> From there, it was academic. Get it? Academic? I'm an all-American. <laughs> well... Listening to you talk about your matches for the last four hours has been, a uh, fun. But it's getting late. Yeah, we should probably get going. Hey, I've been refreshing Ray's memory, remember? My good buddy here has amnesia. Besides, you should be thrilled to be out with us. Right, Ray? Yeah, ladies. This is a good time. Don't ruin it by copying an attitude. Us? Attitude? Ray, you're the one who's changed. And not for the better. Ever since your new best friend... You said you should go. Then go. We'll close down this place like we always do. Isn't that right, Mr. Mysterio? That's right, Mr. Swagger. Because I'm going to the Royal Rumble. That reminds me, bro. I bet you forgot about the time I made John Cena tap out at the Royal Rumble. It looks like Mysterio isn't too happy at Jack costing him the match. Can you blame him? His friend just cost him the number one contender spot. A Jack 
Swagger Special, the Gut Wrench Powerbomb. What's Jack doing to Edge now? Oh, 619 on a defenseless edge. What is Ray doing? Swagger is sure happy about all this. Where does this leave the number one contender spot? What does this mean for Elimination Chamber? Great counter by Edge. And it looks like he's setting up for a... Mysterio. What's he doing here? I can't believe Ray would sink so low. After all, Swagger cost him last week. Does this mean Jack Swagger is the number one contender? I honestly don't know, King, but Jack Swagger and Ray Mysterio appear to have forged an unholy alliance. He wasn't even scheduled to compete in this match tonight, but now he's got a date with CM Punk for the World Heavyweight Championship. Unbelievable, Michael. In two months' time, he went from having his career in jeopardy to being the number one contender. Ray, my man, way to go. You grabbed the contract. Now give it to me. I saved your life. You wouldn't even be here if I didn't pull you out of that flaming wreckage. Now all I asked for is that contract. I told you before, you'll get a shot at my title at WrestleMania. Probably. Now give it to me. Drop it, Swagger. You saved his life, Jack? Saved it? I want to hear what Evan has to say. I don't have to say anything, Ray. Just watch this. Looks like, but seriously, I, I was helping you. Helping me what? Retire? No, I was helping you escape the old you. The one that did what everyone else wanted him to do, instead of doing what you wanted to do. Admit it, Ray, being your own guy has been great, hasn't it? Teaming with me, being the big man on campus, you loved it, right? I know I do. In fact, Take the contract. You deserve it. Our friendship means way more to me than that. Friends. You can try to make one, Jack, but there's no excuse for what you did to me. And then trying to play me afterward? Getting me to betray my friends and my fans? You're pathetic. Seeing that video, it all comes back to me. And I'll come back to you later. But right now, I'm focused on winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Elimination Chamber. Thanks for showing me the light, Evan. I owe you one, dog. I 
can't believe what we've just seen. It was Swagger who hit Mysterio's car. With the truth known and the contract at hand, can Rey Mysterio dethrone CM Punk at Elimination Chamber? I have never felt so good in my entire life. Orale, I'm so proud to be your World Heavyweight Champion. I want to thank the WWE Universe for all your support. Now I'm looking at the future and what are you pandering to the crowd already, Ray? Back to your old wishy washy self already, Ray? Pathetic. It looks like you have the world on your side again. Again, you're sucking up to them. And again, I'm world heavyweight champion. Funny how that works, huh, Jack? Well, why don't you and your WWE Universe take on Jack Swagger? All by myself, for your championship. Jack, if you think I'm gonna give you a title shot after what you did to me, you're even dumber than you look. After what I did? You mean saving your life? I mean trying to ruin it. To ruin who I am. Fine. Say no more. We'll do this the hard way, Mysterio. But know this. I'm gonna get my shot. One way or another. Swagger desperately wants a title shot. But Ray has no intention of granting him one. Who can blame Ray? Swagger's psychological warfare almost cost Ray everything. Rey Mysterio, you've had a smile on that stupid face of yours for the last few weeks. You think you beat me? <laughs> it's not over yet, amigo. I took out your little buddy, Rey, and I could do the same thing to you just as easily. Rob Van Dam may have bailed you out last week, but he can't watch your back all the time. I'm going to win this war, I guarantee it. Right now, my partner, CM Punk, is delivering a little surprise to you, Ray. And I don't think you're... No, Jack. No, I'm not. You have a freakish obsession with Ray Mysterio, Swagger. I don't share it with you. Frankly, it weirds me out. My obsession is with reclaiming my title as the Straight Edge World Heavyweight Champion. I'm not your partner, and I'm certainly not your enforcer. You're not going to use me like you tried using Ray. You're nothing but a big goof. Okay, punk. That's... that's your opinion. Allow me to respond. just powerbomb Punk completely out of the ring. Swagger has snapped. He's out of control. with Rey Mysterio has been taken to a whole new level. Rey Mysterio just warded Edge's hopes for a World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania. Rey's the most wanted man in WWE, but he keeps his role going. It looks like Ray is trying to make amends. Will Edge accept? There's mutual respect between these two. Swagger had no business. 
just doing that to Edge. Jack Swagger is obsessed with Rey Mysterio. Heaven help anyone who gets in Swagger's way. Me and you at WrestleMania, Rey. Anyone tries to stop that, and I'm running them over. Okay, Swagger. You've got it. Swagger versus Mysterio is what the WWE Universe wants to see. And it's going to happen at WrestleMania. It's official. Swagger and Mysterio at WrestleMania. Swagger continues to brutally destroy anyone who comes in contact with Mysterio. What will he do next week? Can Ray survive? These two are going at it like bitter enemies. He's setting up the 619. Big counter by this newcomer. Now what's he going for? It was Jack Swagger. Toto Americano. That means all American. Swagger was trying to be clever here, but once again, Mysterio turned him away. What will happen in six days when Swagger tries to become... Rey Mysterio retains the World Heavyweight Championship. Only three months after that awful accident, which was caused by Jack Swagger, Mysterio stands tall at the Showcase of the Immortals. Swagger seemed like a runaway freight train, but Mysterio persevered and prevailed. Seven Board was here. Ray's gonna dial it in. Six four nine. Oh no! In the airborne. Well, every dirty tactic and every sneak attack Swagger tried, not to mention almost seriously injuring Ray. Ray Mysterio has prevailed. For a road to WrestleMania that was filled with bumps and twists galore, World Heavyweight Champion Ray Undertaker proves his dominance yet again as his team gets the victory. When you're teamed with The Undertaker, your number one job is to stay out of the way. It looks like Undertaker isn't finished. It appears Jericho is a sacrifice tonight. A little message from The Undertaker. This Sunday at Royal Rumble, we find out which of these three will be lucky enough to be matched up against Undertaker at WrestleMania. Excuse me, could I get your thoughts on your match tonight? With pleasure, Todd. The 30 men in the Royal Rumble match, they're looking at a nice prize if they win. But me? When I win this ladder match, I go on to WrestleMania where I will make history. Wait a second. Where's he going? He's supposed to compete tonight. The show's not over. Someone may want to tell him that. But he really doesn't look like he's 100%. Something strange about him over the last few weeks. Now that you mention it, he does seem a little off kilter. Maybe it's the pressure of his impending match against Undertaker. The big stage can affect people in different ways, but he got the job done tonight. That's a statement victory right there. Undertaker may need to take heed. Billy wants to make a little statement of his own. What's Undertaker doing here? How surreal. Undertaker appears, helps his WrestleMania opponent, then vanishes. I'm not even going to attempt to make heads or tails out of that one. The main thing is, he defeated Finley. And looks strong in doing it.
So what do you think caused it? I was in that Diva's Fatal 4 way last week, and I felt a little tired. I just ignored it, but it's been bugging me ever since. It's probably just a sprain. How about we brace it instead of ignoring it and see how that works? I have a match Thursday on Superstars. Will I be okay for that? I doubt you'll be a hundred percent, but in my professional opinion, I'd say you'll be about 78.3%. If you're okay with that, I say go for it. By now, the WWE Universe is aware of one of the blockbuster WrestleMania matches. Undertaker is putting his streak on the line against my guest at this time. A man who... I don't need a formal introduction, Todd. But thanks just the same. Now, if you'll excuse me... Undertaker, I felt your presence. You've been trying to psych me out, and I don't blame you. You're right to be concerned. At WrestleMania, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna take your streak, and the greatest streak in WWE history will be just that. History. You can pull all the... It's not wise to anger Undertaker, you poor soul. Especially because you are not yet worthy to face him. What the... How did you get here? What's going on? Who's he talking to? I have no idea. This is weird. You have a long way to go, young man. Your path to prove your worth starts tonight. When you try to beat a soul, Undertaker has already vanquished at WrestleMania. This is insane. You're, you're, you're supposed to be gone, dead and buried at his hand. What's happening to me? I... There was nobody. You have passed one test, poor soul. But there are others to face. Wait one second. Didn't Undertaker bury you in cement? Another opponent from Undertaker's past will challenge you tonight. A more intense task. What do you mean? You lost your mind, dude. You know that, right? I don't have much faith in your abilities. And neither does my Undertaker. You have much to prove. You beat the Superfly! Very good, poor soul! Listen, fat man. I've had enough of this. Undertaker, his mind games, and you can all go... Save your strength, poor soul. You will need it, for tonight you take on someone very dear to my heart! Another former Undertaker foe has been vanquished. And this time, it was even a member of Undertaker's family. You have proven yourself worthy. At WrestleMania, I will take your soul and add it to those I have sacrificed over the years. I'm more than worthy to face you, dead man. You and your fat little puppet have tried to put me through hell. To freak me out. To throw me off my game. But none of it has worked. I hope you're ready, Undertaker. 
because at WrestleMania, your streak will die. Hello from Los Angeles, the final Raw before WrestleMania. I've been waiting for you. I don't know why, poor soul. My job here is done! But my business with you isn't. I was betrayed and buried under a ton of cement by my undertaker. There's nothing you can do to me. Besides, you already tried, remember? You said you would protect me! I guess now that your job is done, so is your usefulness. Oh, no! You're a poor soul, Paul Bearer. Finally! You're here to save me! in peace. Undertaker. I have all the respect in the world for you, Undertaker. You are truly one of the greatest WWE has ever seen. But after tonight, you and your streak will rest in P. He let him go! I don't think Undertaker has ever shown anyone as much respect as he did right there. Perhaps you're looking at a brand new legend in the ring right now.